What's going on guys? Shaddix here and welcome back to another Pixelmon Gen Collection episode where today we got some stuff to do. As you can tell I've got some stuff in my inventory like an enchanted book and I have some iron armor on and that's because I went off and did a little bit of exploring. Let's see what we've got in our inventory. We have so much stuff. We ended up finding um, some more stone plates, a couple of diamonds. Uh, we found a good rod, a couple of dusk stones. We found some covered fossils. Now this one I think is probably going to be an old amber, but this could end up being a dome fossil. So I really want to go ahead and uh, get this one uh, cured up. We also have a mending book and a fortune three book, along with a firestone, some emeralds, obviously the plates. Uh, safety goggles, I believe these are for when you are in the... Um, the wormhole there, the altar space, because they allow you to see further, maybe? And then I got a red shard. Now, I have no clue what that does, but one thing I did find out what uh, d what it does is this orb thing we have. Uh, let's see, where is that? Is that in here? Yeah, this orb, we're going to combine it with something in just a second. Uh, first off, let's uh, go ahead and clean this off, because I think that's going to end up being a dome fossil, which would be great. Uh, we also have this prism bottle. I don't want to use it, or accidentally use it, because I have no clue what it's going to do, and I really don't trust that. And I also started um, carrying around PCs with me. I ended up finding a bunch, so uh, that's useful. And yes, no way, it is a dome fossil, guys. We're going to get kabuto now we just actually we need uh one more of those so we can get the other guy as well just in our system but one thing i wanted to do is grab this orb fossil and what do we want to mix it with this orb fossil basically we have to put it with a uh, firestone a uh, thunderstone or a water stone i believe and then you have to take down 250 mobs uh, with it, not mobs, uh, Pokemon, and it'll slowly fill up, and then once you've gotten 250, you can go to what's called a, uh, shrine, and go find one of the, uh, myst mystical birds. Now, I think, because it'll be easier to find, I think we want to do Articuno first. So, this is gonna make Orb of Frozen Souls. Now, as we, uh, not kill, but, uh, defeat Pokemon, this will fill up. We need, uh, 250. Uh, let's see, if we do an F3 and... G? No. F3 and H. Tooltips are hidden now. We wanted that to actually be shown. I figured it would say something here, but maybe we have to, like, use it? Okay, you need 375 more KOs. Okay, so that works anyway. What was that in front of us just now? I don't know. Okay, so we gotta wait for this Kabuto to fill up, but I guess while we do that, we might as well get a uh, covered fossil in here. Uh, I do believe that's gonna be an old amber, though, which uh, I guess if it is, we can keep this Aerodactyl in our party and go ahead and put uh, the Aerodactyl in here, wherever it belongs. And I did actually go back and uh, fill in this all properly, other than, obviously, the Legendary and the Shiny right there. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in here we can, like, evolve super quickly? Oh, there is one, and that's Weeping Bell. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, and that is because I believe we found a Leaf Stone as well somewhere, didn't we? I, I put it in here. Yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and, while that, uh, does its thing, let's go ahead and go evolve Weeping Bell into a, uh, whatever it's called, a Victory Bell. And then, uh, eventually I'll just go out and catch a new one. Wow, you're gonna be a big Victory Bell, aren't you? Oh, yeah, so as for the PCs, I decided to start keeping PCs on me. That way, when we find a trader, we can actually trade with him, depending on what he has. Because we ended up losing on that Machoke, uh, the Alakazam or whatever, at some point because of that, which was a little unfortunate. We're just going to go ahead and delete that. Wow. Oh, we, you're kidding. We can ride inside of a Victory Bell? Oh, this is the coolest thing in the world. We're inside Victory Bell, like we're in its mouth like it would um, do uh, in the show when it would swallow up James Hole. That's actually really funny and I like that concept. That is pretty amazing. But yeah, one thing I did decide on with the um, trading is that we can still only use Pokemon from the Kanto region. So if, uh, whatever the guy wants to trade is not from Kanto, well then we can't trade him because we can't get our hands on it, unfortunately. So that's at 71%. Oh, and uh, you may notice that I am running low on Pokeballs again. Yeah, that's because I saw an Entei, and, um, yeah, I used up almost three stacks there. Most of those three stacks went straight to trying to catch that Entei, and it didn't, uh, yeah, that didn't work out very well. So let's go ahead, and we're going to wait for this er or this Kabuto to show up, and then we'll uh, put him in the PC, just in here, I guess, for now, and then we'll move him to wherever he needs to go. But yeah, let's wait for him. 
All right, 99%, and we're just going to toss you in a Pokeball, just uh, to not use up any of our other stuff. Uh, sent to my PC. There you are. Let's. I'm actually going to take a look at him real quick, because I actually really like Kabuto. Kabuto is a really awesome Pokemon. Uh, typically, I really would have chosen him. Wow, he is very small. Is he, like, pygmy-sized? Oh, let's take a look at that, actually, because now uh, my curiosities are a rolling Stats. Yeah, he is a uh, growth small, unfortunately. But it's still a really cool Pokemon I ha to have, and Kabutops is just going to be pretty amazing. All right, um, let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, that's another old Amber. That's what I thought. Yeah, you do your thing, but we don't need to stick around for that one. Uh, what else should we get? Uh, we have a Firestone, and we also ended up getting a Dawnstone as well. Uh, I also have a Reveal Glass, if I'm not mistaken. That's for... I don't know. I thought that was a mirror. That was for the, um... I don't know. I have two. Should I use one? Let's see. Boink. Boink, 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 boink. No, okay, so this doesn't do anything. I thought these were for the, uh, legendary Pokemon from whatever region it is with Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. Uh, where did the second one go? Did I already put it in here? I did. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's go. Oh, we also had a pretty good amount of golden apples as well. Uh, put the diamonds away. We need to keep this on us or it's not really going to do anything. Um, I want to keep these flame, these plates, like, separate because once we get all 17 of them, we can actually go off and get Arceus. And because it's a legendary, I'm going to say that uh, it is Okize to be catching him. Uh, go grab these as well so we can keep them all together. Um, unfortunately, we already had one of those, but now we have four of 17, I believe. I believe that's all we have for plates. And we do have two good rods, which is also pretty good. We want to make sure this stays safe because we don't want to lose that for when we go in the ultra space dimension. Um, let's see. Make sure I don't have anything else. I would like to just get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory, though. That mending and fortune three are really going to come in handy at some point. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, keep this on me. This can go back in here. I'll put the torches there. That sounds good to me. Uh, and there was nothing in here, right? I do not believe so. Okay, so some of the things we need to do. Let's go catch some Pokemon, but we also need to be defeating Pokemon for a couple reasons. Um, one of which is to evolve Ivysaur, Wartortle, and Charmander. I would love to do that today. Not entirely sure if that is a goal that's within reason, because that is 11 levels, I believe, we have to gain. And that is uh, quite a bit, especially um, in the Pixelmon world. Uh, let's see. Other than that, I just want to defeat all of the Pokemon that we can. And I've been trying to stick to... Yeah, hang on. I need to catch this Pidgey. This is going to bug me. I keep seeing Pidgeys all over the place. Uh, did I really miss that? And I don't have any. And I need three for my um thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, Ice Fang. I'm going to use Wing Attack just because it's not going to kill you because you're a flying type Pokemon. And now I should be able to catch you. I want to go ahead and catch two more Pidgeys though uh, so I can evolve them. Because the Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, if I try and catch them normally, they're just going to be flying through the sky. And that makes them a little difficult. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to do as well. Okay, so we're going to head over to the uh, Pokeball making station. Because it is getting to nighttime. And one thing I've realized is that I would really enjoy having Dusk Balls. That way I can go and try and catch Pokemon inside caves. And then I can catch Pokemon at night as well. And, you know, have it be a little easier than just the Pokeballs I've got. Hopefully it's uh, two green and a black Pokemon. Uh, Apricorn, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be those colors for sure. My curiosity is killing me about these things, by the way. I really want to go in there and try out that again. But really, it's just kind of scaring me because the last time it really didn't end well. Um, so I'm going to take a stack of green. Even though it's probably going to end up being two stacks. But I mean, why not? And however many black Apricorns we can get. Um, let's see, do I have any in here or did I smelt them all already? Uh, well, I'll get half a stack from this, so that's pretty good. Uh, hopefully that grows really soon, because I'm going to need it. And that's a little upsetting being one off like that. Uh, do I have any smelting in here already? I do not, and I doubt I've got any in there. That is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and do half a stack here, half a stack there. Do I have any bones on me? No, I do not. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, while we don't have those smelting, I guess we might as well just go ahead and sleep and then come back in the morning. 
We're also just going to boop this Aerodactyl into a uh, Pokeball, send him into our PC. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, I figured out how to get Mewtwo, by the way, as well. So that's awesome. Let's see what you are. Are you a trader? You're a move tutor. I don't really need you just yet, but I will probably end up needing you in the future. Um, yeah, so these are going to make cooked apricorns. I don't think we're going to need anything else for the time being, other than basically waiting on the apricorns to smelt, because I really want to test out this whole, um, thing here with getting dusk balls. So we have dusk balls for tonight, because I would like to stay up and catch a couple, uh, nightly type Pokemon, because I don't think we have a Golbat just yet. And that would probably be, well, not helpful, but we do need it for the, uh, Pokedex, so why not, you know? Um, there's some flying Pokemon up there we don't need. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get these, um, Apricorn smelted, and then we'll go through and we'll do all of that. Does that sound good to everyone? I think that sounds good. I see a green milk tank over here. Now, this is not going to be easy to beat, but I am going to go ahead and give it a go. Uh, actually, I know what I want to start with. I want to start with you, and I want to leech seed you. Uh, hopefully, um, you don't do exactly what you just did, and that's send me to my grave in one shot. Hey, Haunter, go ahead and curse this cow, please. Oh my gosh, and now I'm going to die, but you are going to get cursed, and that means we have a guaranteed victory. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, I'm going to try and send out um, some unfortunate death Pokemon. Uh-oh. This is actually going to be a little more difficult than I thought, because you might actually kill me. Ice Fang... I, a level 13 just survived that? Are you in, oh, and no way, you're frozen. You're kidding. Okay, well, I'm switching you out to War Turtle then if you're frozen. Heck yeah. As long as you don't thaw out on the, you thought out. But, oh my gosh, I lived. Oh, no way. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we gained a level or, we gained two levels. Nice. Uh, protect, we don't really need protect. So I'm going to keep that, um there uh egg eh, no way that's a lucky egg oh heck yeah let's give that to a pokemon right this second um we're gonna go ahead and give you the ivy sorry guys since we're training you up but we do need to heal you up now uh let's see should we just go heal up and then we're gonna go ahead and grab those pokeballs over there i do see a ponyta over there i might want to take on with this war turtle first i think is that a ponyta that is a ponyta let's hope you're a low enough level uh for my war turtle to try and take you on uh you are level 10 i should be able to take you on in one hit with the uh thing as long as you're not faster than me perfection nice i have been picking those two things up because i'm not entirely sure uh what they're going to be useful for but i'm sure they'll be useful for something so let's go ahead and we're going to go heal up our team and then we're going to go ahead and also uh, do the whole apricorn thing as well, because we do definitely need to get that going. And apparently I'm just going to go for a little swim first. Um, how long has this been here? How have I never fallen into that hole before? I don't even think that should be possible. That hole has been there forever and I've never fallen into it, as if that makes any sense. All right, we are all healed up and it looks like the furnaces are off. So let's go ahead and see exactly how you make these things. I'm going to make an educated guess because I know Pokemon and I want to go one here, a green there, and a black here. Yep, Dusk Ball right there. And whoa, that makes a heck of a lot. So we can make a whole stack of these. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll leave those plates in there because we shouldn't need any more than a stack for right now. And then we have a stack of iron discs, but I really feel like we had um, some already hammered out. I guess not. I'm not going to make those up just yet, though. Uh, maybe I will. Okay. No, no, okay. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that just yet. Just because I'm also going to need to go and gather up some stone. I'll probably do that in between videos. Because off the top of my head, there's not anything that I actually need at the current moment. Um, let's see. One thing I do want is to go look at some Pokemon over here in the mountainous area again. Mainly because uh, I want an Onyx to spawn, actually. But also uh, because there's a lot of uh, Geodudes and Chuckles and everything, and that is really good for Ivysaur and War Turtle. And also our Shulker Shell situation would be uh, great. Uh, I don't know what... Well, that's a fighting type. We could take that on if we really wanted, but I also really don't want to. We can also take on Fanfies, and that is a Hitmontop. 
Oh, if only you were part of Gen 1, because you would be a pretty cool and interesting Pokemon to have, but unfortunately we are not allowed to catch you. And that is a Mud Beret, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and we're going to take on a ton of Pokemon here. I also want to find maybe a trader uh, to trade with would be nice, because I have not gotten to trade yet. And I want to be able to do that at least once, so hopefully uh, we can get that done in this video. So uh, let's get on the killing grind of some Pokemans. <laughs> So I found a level 36 Charmeleon, and I really don't understand my logic behind sending out a Grass-type Pokemon first at it. But we're going to try and catch it because um, we need a Charmander and a Charmeleon to go inside our Pokedex alongside our party Pokemon. Because uh, we want all of the Pokemon from the game. Ex but we're going to have a duplicate of the uh, six Pokemon that are in our party. So obviously, duplicate Blastoise, Charizard, uh, Eevee... Uh, Aerodactyl, and uh, the two other things that I've got that I cannot remember the name of. Uh, let's go with something that's not going to kill you. Hopefully a tackle won't. Uh, you just hit me with a fire fang. Uh, oh, screw it. I'm just going to use an ultra ball now. Um, it's probably going to take a couple to go ahead and catch you. But the good news is that it should only take one level to get you into a Charizard. Which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do that the same day that my Charizard evolves, or my Charmeleon evolves into Charizard. What's going on? What are you? Level 22 training? We could actually take you on, but it's getting to nighttime. It looks like we're going to need to go and take ourselves a little snooze, although we could go ahead and use... No, War Turtle is actually really weak right now. You know what? That's only a level 7. Ooh, wait a minute. I see Pokemon I need. Clefairy, I have your older brother, I guess. But I would like you. Let's see if we can go ahead and catch this Clefairy. Because we have a Clefable, but we did not get a Clefairy. Uh, yeah, don't hit me with a Sing, please. Eee, I am really not doing too much damage to you, and that is unfortunate. Yeah, we're doing some slow damage. Wow, I didn't even notice. That thing's level 33? That didn't even occur to me that it's so high a level, and I'm only level 26. Ouch. I just thought, you know, Clefairy, smaller Pokemon, it's not going to be as tough. But unfortunately, it's uh, pretty big. Luckily, you're, you seem to be missing all of your attacks, which is really awesome for me. Although, it seems like I'm not really... Oh, that's why my attack... Do I have a special attack? I do a water. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, because uh, your regular attack only attacks things that are... Uh, or only decreases things that hit you physically. Luckily, water gun doesn't do that. I don't actually come into contact with you. If you guys didn't know, that's what special attack and defense... That's how they're different from a uh, regular attack. A physical attack and a physical defense is um your attack and defense, your attack that you're actually hitting them. So like, if I look at this bite, that's me coming into contact with them. Rapid spin, I'm coming into contact with them. Tackle, I'm coming into contact with them. So these are all physical attacks. But because only the water is coming into contact with Clefairy and not me, that would be considered a special attack. So that's how that differentiates in case you guys wanted to know that. There's uh, my two cents for the day for you. Enjoy. That's that's free of charge. I know I said two cents, but that's completely free. Use it as you will. And we caught Clefairy on the first try, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Make sure there's none Onyx hiding behind here like last time. Nope. Although I am curious. I really don't want to leave any unchecked trainers behind, and he's gone anyway. Well, it's a good thing uh, that tends to happen literally all the time. Uh, let's see. Are you a trader? On our way home if i find a trainer on our way home i'll let you guys know so we did not find a trainer but what we can do why do oh there's a second aerodactyl there that's why haha <laughs> oh we did get a pidgey so we need uh two more which is good but we can put this clefairy right in front of that clefable uh we still need a wigglytuff uh wait a second hang on can i get a wigglytuff i don't remember if a moonstone is how you do it i think it might be though so let's go ahead and see if uh, we can get ourselves a uh, Wigglytuff. Boop. Oh, no way we can. Oh, sweet. I didn't even think about this. Duh. And Jigglypuffs have been easy uh, to find, so that's awesome. But now, because I took uh, Wigglytuff or Jigglypuff out of uh, the PC, that is the smallest Wigglytuff I've ever seen. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. We took it out for um, Haunter. Okay, yeah. So this is Jigglypuff. That makes that Wigglytuff. 
So we just got to catch a wiggly puff, or wiggly puff, uh, jiggly puff, and we'll end up putting it back there. So I'm going to go back there. We're going to train up a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to see how far are we on this orb. Oh, that's interesting. Um, 369 more. Wow, that is a lot. I'm going to have to do a ton of training probably in between episodes because that is a heck of a lot of Pokemon that we are going to need to battle. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a lot. For some reason, I only thought it was 250, but it seems to be a heck of a lot more than that. Um, hopefully some things we'll run into while we're over here is a guy who's trading some stuff and as well as, um, I don't know what else would be nice. An Onyx would be nice because that's eluded me twice. I've, I saw an Onyx last night, but because it was late and my brother was sleeping, I didn't uh, record it and I didn't want to catch it because I already caught one Pokemon off camera. And while I didn't want to do that twice in one series, would I, uh, you're not a Pokemon I need. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I thought that was a Dwebble at first, but no. I'm going to go ahead and continue training some Pokemon, and if I find anything helpful or an extra person, I shall let the um, audience, you guys, uh, know. So back to training, shall we? I remember when I said that Jigglypuffs were easy to find, I literally hear one out back. Yeah, hello, how would you like to, uh, I don't know, be mine? How about you uh, just uh, be on the first catch? That'd be even better. Uh, of course you're not. Why would you do that? That would only be uh, super, super awesome of you. I really needed to catch you, though. So, seriously? Come on, Jigglypuff. You're only a level 22. You can do it. I have a Wigglytuff in the PC for you to hang out with. Like, it, it'll be super cool. It'll be like your best friends. There we go. Now we got it. So, actually, real quick before I forget, I am going to go put that in the proper spot because I will actually know where you go. Uh, let's see. You go right there. And I'm going to do this so anything new we catch will go straight to here. And back to more train we go. Hooray, let's do it. Finally, after that Ponyta, we are finding a better water type move. Water Pulse. Thank you very much. Let's actually go test this out. Is there a water type Pokemon that is or a ground type Pokemon over here? Uh, Sure, Graveler, as long as you're not like 36. No, you're only level 25. We can do that. Uh, water Pulse. Let's see how much better you are. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, I can't even believe how much... Uh, well, that didn't actually uh, do anything, I guess. Well, I guess free Bauxite, and then we'll drop the rest. Well, that was a rather unfortunate turn of events. Guys, I'm thinking about trying to take on this Mega Absol. However, I'm not entirely sure how good it's going to work out. Hmm. Everything might die, but we're going to start off with Haunter and see if we can curse it. If we can curse it, we might just be able to outlast it by just enough can we do it oh you missed no way nice okay so now it's cursed oh yeah now it's dead there's no way oh it's a shiny as well unfortunately we're not going to be able to catch it though uh confuse ray probably just to uh, hopefully have you hurt yourself as well nice oh that is so perfect became confused afflicted by curse uh nightshade uh yeah so sucker punch finding the, the damage uh, let's go ahead and use... Which one do we want? Let's use War Turtle just because he's got the uh, Lucky Egg on him right now. Uh, what is a priority type move? I don't know. I guess we're just going to use Water Pulse and hope that he misses. Uh, he did not miss, but we are just barely about to beat him. So I guess we're going to use uh, Ivysaur now just because he's the lowest level. I really don't know what to do here. Just Tackle, I guess. Quick. Of course he used Quick Attack, but we did win. So that's nice. What do we get out of this? We get Absolite, a Stone Plate, and some Bones. That was, a. Uh... I mean, I'm going to be honest. That wasn't too worth it, but we uh, did beat a uh, Mega Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I don't have any Pokeballs yet. I have not made up any more, which is unfortunate. I was going to buy some, but turns out we only have, like, 1,500 Poke Dollars, which is uh, an absolutely ridiculous amount. So we're going to need to make more of uh, Pokeballs ourselves, which is actually something I would like to... Oh, gosh make uh now that i think about it um for pokeballs i want unbreaking three on a hammer but we don't have unbreaking three so we need to make a um enchanting table so i might making an enchant i might make an enchantment setup in the next video um but this video i just want to focus on getting our three main pokemon here evolved uh ivysaur blastoise or no venusaur blastoise and charizard uh, we're pretty close. I think Ivysaur, if I'm not mistaken, might actually evolve at level 32. I could be mistaken, though, is the whole point there. We haven't seen too many trainers, though, to take a look at to see if they want to trade us. Which is kind of unfortunate. 
Hmm. And also, I want to make an automatic uh, one of these farms. I think there's a way to automate it anyway. I haven't built one, and I haven't looked it up yet, but I am fairly certain that there is some way, somehow, that you can actually automate the, uh... Oh, it was just a door. Automate the, uh, Pokeball gathering process. Maybe not smelting them, but gathering them. And gathering them is what we really need to automate, because other than that, um, everything else is kind of easy. I mean, we, you might actually be able to automate even the, uh, hammering. I guess that's something to look into, but let's, uh, get a little closer to evolving all these Pokemon. Okay, well, we're battling this Rattata, which is unfortunate, because I just saw something behind me. And then this Kakuna, right? Is, is that it? Yep, hi, Kakuna, how are you doing? You want to die, too? Why not? Let's do it. Goodbye, um, drop all. Look at this. Do you guys see that over there? That is a shiny Raticate. What are we gonna do? We don't even, like, it's a shiny. I want that just because it's a shiny, but I don't, I think it's gonna despawn is the real problem here. I mean, even before we can go and get Pokeballs, I'm gonna just buy uh, all the Pokeballs I can, I guess. Shopkeeper, yeah, Pokeballs. We're gonna do this and buy. Wow, we can literally only get seven. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, well, let's hope it's still here, just uh, to catch it. I mean, why not? It is still there. Don't despawn. Don't despawn. Don't despawn. What level are you? You're level 20? Hmm. What to do? What to do? Uh, let's battle you with Eevee and get you low first. Maybe we can uh, use some... I don't know how strong this move is, though. Okay, so that's, that's a quick attack. That almost hits me for half. Um, I can get one more attack in. That's nice. Unless he crits me. Ooh, okay. And he did crit me, unfortunately, with that pursuit. Uh, he's in the yellow now. I'm not sure if it's worth sending out another Pokemon to try and um, get him even lower. Because the only other one I've got is Aerodactyl. And I really don't trust that uh, he's got a uh, low enough move. Or not strong enough move, I guess, would be the way to say that. But let's see if we get this Raticate, I guess. Why not? We only have seven Pokeballs to work with. He's uh, at half health, so hopefully we can do something. I really wish we had uh, Eevee still, but we kind of don't. And we don't have a... Um, oh my gosh, I almost just used Ice Fang on him. Oh, wow. That would have been unfortunate. For a second, I thought I just heard a uh, Fero there. Even though that is one Pokemon we still need to get. Only five Pokeballs left. Come on, you know you want to be mine, shiny uh, Pokemon. It's unfortunate that's the exact same one that we've already got. But, I mean, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, we, we officially literally have nothing that we can do anything with. Unless maybe... Hmm. Maybe I could confuse it and have it hurt itself once or twice? I'm gonna do that because I only have... Wait, hang on. How many Pokeballs do I have? I have four. So I'm gonna use one more. And then if he confuse, hurts himself in confusion... Do we have it? We Oh, we got it! We got another... No way! Guys, we got it! We got another shiny Pokemon. It's literally the exact same one we got before. But we've got a shiny Pokemon. Oh, hey, I see you, trainer. I'm gonna come to say hi to you. Oh, gosh... I forgot that that was a thing. All right, what do you have for me? Are you a trader? Because I need traders. Oh, you're a shopkeeper. Uh, what do you have for sale? A sunstone and a water stone. Those are very expensive. I need to take on like a gym. That is not what I think it is. No, that's got to be a thunderstone shard. That is not a fossil. Hang on, what are you? Oh, wow, you are a very high level trainer. This isn't a fossil. There's no way, right? Okay, no, I believe that is a thunderstone shard. So let's go ahead. We're going to pick it up anyway, because I mean, it's a shard. So, why not? Uh, boop. There we go. Wait, what is... Oh, that's a leaf stone shard! Wait a minute. So, are those found in, like, sides of... You're kidding. That is not a shiny Zubat. Hang on. I'm flying after this thing now. Oh, we can't. No way. We, we're not going to be able to fly after this. I'm thinking it's not a boss. Come on. Oh, you're kidding. It's a boss. You're joking. I can't believe we just ran all that way because I thought that was a shiny Zubat. That's the problem with the green ones, okay? Like, they look just like shiny Pokemon. Like, uh, Machop is green. I think Zubat's green as well. So, that's unfortunate. We just ran all this way for literally no reason. And we're starving as well. So, let's go ahead and eat some food. And then we'll um, probably head back home. 
and do whatever we were about to do next. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, we were still training. Yeah, let's get back to training then. There it is again. There, okay, there is a Pokemon we need. Don't touch me any other Pokemon. No, 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 no. Oh, that thing's gonna despawn. And that'll be like the third time that's happened with Hitmon, whatever the heck. Hitmonlee has despawned twice and Hitmonchan has despawned once. Okay, Hitmonlee, I want to battle you. Bring it on. Water Pulse on the... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because, I mean, what if you get confused and then hurt yourself? Oh, no, that's right. The first Hitmonlee ended up dying from um, trying to use High Jump Kick and he missed. Okay, so let's go ahead and use... I guess Ivysaur? I just don't want it to use that attack again and completely miss and then kind of screw itself. Close combat. Oh, wow. I can't even believe I lived. Uh, let's see. Vine Whip. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to catch you now before you try and attack me and miss. Because if he uses High Jump Kick at his health right now, he's going to die if he misses me. Come on. Two. Ah, oh, I missed it. Come on. Focus energy, okay. What if I just use tackle? Is tackle gonna be enough to kill it? Or is it gonna leave it in the red zone? Okay, it doesn't matter because it used close combat. So I guess I can use, um, I'll use Eevee. And I'll just use Covet once or twice if I can. If it misses me, I'm dead. Uh, this is bad. Uh, because if it misses, if I get down to Haunter, I'm not entirely sure it can attack me with a high jump kick. And if it can't attack me, then it's a literal guaranteed miss. Aerodactyl, you're in the way. I would like to see this Pokeball. Two, come on. Three, do I got it? No way, do I got it? We got it! We have one Pokeball left. Holy crap, that was... I was so scared there, guys. We got a Hitmon Lee. Nice! So now we just need a Hitmon Chan. So I guess that's um, one of three Pokemon that can spawn here that we actually really, like, desperately needed to get pretty badly. Uh, because I haven't really seen too many of them. The other ones are uh, Hitmonchan, obviously. And then we also needed an Onix, which I've only ever seen spawn twice. And I unfortunately had to miss out on them both times. There's a Dawn fan over there. Should we go and take that on? No, we really should get back and, um, I don't know, uh, heal up our Pokemon, maybe? Or we could just train up Charmeleon, I guess. But there's really nothing here other than maybe uh, Vivlian that we can actually battle and actually do good against. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I guess it's time to go and heal up our Pokemon once again. And then, the journey continues. Alright guys, I wanted to talk to you about some of the items I found in the, one of the recent episodes. Uh, the Prison Bottle. I shouldn't have been scared. That is for changing Hoppa into its unbound form once you have a Hoppa. The Reveal Glass is for the um, Storm Pokemon, Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus, to change them to their alternate forms. And then wherever... That, oh, this red shard, when you get 10 of them, you can, like, place them on a block, and it creates the red orb, which, of course, is used to change Groudon into Primal Groudon uh, once we do get one of those. So, yeah, those are all useful things, but they're really kind of useless right now. Uh, we're currently smelting up some more food, and we're also going to make some more Pokeballs. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue our training, then. I'm going to see how many of these Pokeballs I can make. If any, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to make too much. Okay, guys, this thing's just teasing me. Now, this is the second one to spawn in this video. Get back here, and I don't know if I have a way to kill it. I do have an idea, though. I might try and attack it, and I wonder if it would be better for XP. Let's curse it. Are we going to live? No way. You just screwed up, Entei. You just really screwed up. Oh, it's screwed now. It's going to lose. This is a level 70 Entei. Okay, yeah, Ember, but you look at your health. I don't care about my stuff right now. I just want to either catch you or defeat you. And there's no way he can kill me in time before that curse uh, finishes him off. So I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of free XP. I think curse might kill him off in this uh, thing. But what I'm going to do is watch this. Ready? Uh, War Turtle. I'm going to sacrifice a Pokemon here. Uh, Pokemon over to Chameleon just so Ivysaur lives. Or something lives. I think it'll go one more attack without dying to that. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now I can use another Pokeball on it. And either catch it, or defeat it and get a ton of XP for both Charmeleon. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you're dead. But, we won. Nice. So I went to what, level 32? Uh, yeah, 32 on Charmeleon and 35 for War Turtle. Flame Burst gonna get rid of Ember. 
Yep, uh, we're gonna take all of that because all of that looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, we weren't able to catch it, but I'm more or less worried about a onyx or something spawning that we uh, actually need because I keep running into onyxes, guys. I've run into, what, I said three now? Uh, what are you? Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, no, okay. Well, that was uh, a close one. So, War Turtle, you're level 35 now. You are one level away from evolving. So, let's see if we can get you there super quick. All right, this battle or the next one should finish off my... Uh, so there we go, level 36. Blastoise, drop all. Yeah, yeah. War Turtle's evolving into Blastoise. That's one down, two to go. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually see our Blastoise. So, um, hooray. We're going to have to swap over the Lucky Egg, and we're going to have to take a look at our Blastoise as well. Hey, what are you? Just in case, are you a trader? No, you're just a level 23, but you could be a trader. Before we take a look at this, I do have to check these guys, because if they're traders, I need them. Uh, move tutor, no. There's another guy over there. There's this guy here, you're level 46, no. And then what are you? You are level 14. Actually, that level 14 we can probably take on. Well, let's take a look. Boom! Blastoise, and I believe... Yeah, we can ride Blastoise. So what are you over here? Um, you're a level 46 trainer. I am not about to try and take you on. Uh, that would be pretty dumb because I'm just going to end up losing. Look at this, guys. We're on a Blastoise. Let me get rid of this. Heck yeah. Nice. Okay, so next on the list, do we want a Charizard or do we want a Ivysaur or Venusaur? Probably Charizard just because uh, it's closer. So why not get that? No, actually, I'm going to go with Ivysaur first just so we're training in the same area. That we uh, have been. So we can get more shulker shells, get that chance out of Nonix, or that chance to kill off a, um, whatever it is again, if it, if one spawns in, Entei. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a sleep, uh, get all our Pokemon, relieve a blaze of its rod. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. It was uh, Entei, by the way, not a blaze. Uh, we're going to do Ivysaur first, whip these guys around, um, take a look in here. Didn't we get something? We got Hitmonlee and another Shiny. I don't think we got anything else. I need to evolve this guy as well into a Charizard just so we have one in the box. All right, back to training we go. Only two left to go, guys. Nice. Red alert, red alert, red alert. What level are you? Level 25. Hitmonchan, shall you be mine? I want to use Razor Leaf, but I don't want to kill it. Please don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, good news, it didn't kill it. Um, we can use a second one, that's nice. Or we can just go off and die. That works too. Um, how about Dragon Rage? I'm sure you've got more than 40 HP. Right? Dragon? Oh my god, that was so close! Okay, we have nine Pokeballs and you're literally at like one HP. I'm sure we could do this. Okay, you broke free. I'm less sure now, come on. Come on, we can do it. Eight more left, and you are still at one HP. As long as you don't do anything stupid to hurt yourself. Do we have it? No, we don't. Come on. Hitmonchan, quit being a bum. Do we have it? Thank you, Hitmonchan. Oh my gosh. We almost didn't have that. We literally have one Pokeball left. Wow, and it killed my Ivysaur. There's a Move Tutor. We don't necessarily need that. There's a Hitmonlee. We don't need that either. Um, well, we kind of need to train up. Oh, look, there's another Hitmonchan. But uh, we really need to go and uh, do something right now. Uh, go heal up our Pokemon, because currently there's a uh, dying Machap. Machap, I am sorry, but I can do nothing about that. All right, well, I guess we have to go heal up again. Hopefully this guy's a traitor. What are you? You gonna trade me something? Um, no, you're a move tutor. What about this guy? Are you going to trade me something? No, you want to battle me with some ridiculous Pokemon. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, back to the Pokemon Center we go yet again. All right, is this going to be the last Pokemon? It might evolve at level 32. I'm not entirely sure. I think it does. I guess we're about to find out, though. Mud Beret? Um, you avoided Vine Whip. Really? Okay. Since when does that move even miss? Odd. I don't think I've ever... What? Wait, what do, you, what do you mean I missed? Oh, it's Mud Slap. Okay. Well, that's annoying then. There we go. And we're level 32. Um, won the battle. Gained a level. Take all. All right. Yeah. Okay, Ivy Sword does evolve at level 32. For a second there, I was a little um off-put. I wasn't entirely sure if that was going to happen. But now we get to take a look at our Venusaur. Wow, that's going to be a big Venusaur. Nice. 
Do we get to ride Venusaur? Because that'd be pretty cool. Pedal Dance, we're going to switch out for uh, Vine Whip just because. Hello. Hi. Can I ride? I can ride. I can ride Venusaur, guys. Uh, hello, Move Tutor. Um, it's not the best. It's not the best ride. It's not the coziest. But it is a uh, Venusaur. Nice. All right, this Charmeleon will be evolving any time now. If you look at that XP bar, we're actually really, really close. And by really close, I mean we should be evolving literally right now. Drop all. Nice. Okay, so we're about to get a Charme or not Charmeleon, a Charizard, guys, finally. Uh, we do have two Pokemon that can fly, which is good because if one's fainted, uh, especially with it being Aerodactyl and the fact that he's still pretty low level, yeah, I hope this thing's actually a pretty decent size. Uh, wing attack, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Scratch. Um, let's go ahead and bring you out, though, Charizard. Where are you? Nice. Wow, this is uh, the world's smallest Charizard, but we've got a Charizard, guys. Look at this. We're flying on a Charizard, finally. So let's go ahead and bring all three of these guys out and see what they all look like. Because I believe uh, we can uh, bring them out all side by side, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we did already check out that trader, so we don't need to do that. Uh, bring Venusaur out. And bring Blastoise out. Nice. Look at that. We have all three of them walking around. Awesome. I absolutely love that. But, well guys, if this isn't unfortunate, I really don't know what is unfortunate. <sighs> what do you think the odds of us catching the shiny Machop are? With our only Pokeball? Uh, if we had stone... We could do this. Hang on, we might... We might be able to do this as long as we follow this Machop around. I can't let it despawn, though. There's four... Five, six, seven, eight, then one and two for the buttons. Okay, we still got you. I need... I need coal. But I also need wood for a crafting table and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it with that guy not despawning hang on alright we have the coal I still hear the machop around the corner that's good uh, I don't know if we can go and grab wood with him still being here we might uh, don't despawn don't despawn I literally need one whole piece of wood come on and then to run back over there. Come on, come on, come on. Grab. I still see him. I see him. Check this first. Of course, you're giving an Onyx for a Steelix. Interesting. Okay, Machap. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to be our shiny Pokemon. We need to be able to craft more Pokeballs. And uh, you're going to allow us to do just that. Gonna take this. Don't you be taking damage. No, 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 no. Get out of here, Torkoal. Get out of here. We need those and this. And I'm going to follow this guy around to make sure he doesn't despawn. We should be able to... Hopefully, he's since he's only level 6, hopefully we can, only, we can get him in a uh, timely fashion here. And hopefully we'll actually be able to get him without him despawning. That's another big thing. Whoop, no, Torkoal, get out of here. What are you doing? I don't want to battle you. If I wanted to battle you, I'd be messing you up right now. Trust me. Uh, open up this. Crafting menu. Two buttons. Yes. Two Pokeballs. Let's do it. All right, buddy. Come on. I can't attack you. So we're going to have to do this nice and easy. Machop, be nice. Nope, that's not being nice. One more after this one. Come on. One two three we got a shiny machop holy crap all right well i'm gonna stick this at the end of the video or like probably just before uh logging off here and we're gonna go take a look at that shiny machop now i can't believe we got two shiny legend shiny pokemon in the same video that's actually insane and i'm an idiot we don't need to travel all the way back home because we have one of these dudes all right shiny machop let's come we're gonna take you out of here real quick and we're gonna take a look um, bring you out. Boom. No, boom. Nice. Level 6 shiny Machop. I mean, it's not the best, but it is a shiny. So let's go ahead and actually uh, take a look at this. Stats. Pygmy. Unfortunately, it's the smallest uh, they come, but it is a shiny. So that is two shinies in the uh, same video. That's pretty awesome. 
We're going to go ahead and put you with the other shinies. We have three shinies now. Two Raticates and a Machop. It's nice that we didn't get a, um, you know, another Raticate. That would have been pretty unfortunate. All right, I'll probably cut this in right before uh, the outro. So take it away, me, or whatever, however I decide to do this, unless this is the end. That should be it for this video. I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below some of the next Pokemon you want to see me at least try and get. Maybe I'll try and get um, uh, this filled up and we'll go for an Articuno maybe. Our first legendary Pokemon like gone and hunted on our own. And uh, yeah, comment down below what you'd like to see me do. And as always, subscribe if you're new and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.